Hello, humans! I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild! In the previous part, I finally arrived here in the Kakariko village! I spoke to Impa, and she gave me some new objectives. She said I had to visit another village that I could learn about these guardians that I had to defeat if I wanted to defeat Ganon. Yada yada yada. I have to do a bunch of stuff. But, there's also a shrine somewhere in this village, and I would like to take on that shrine before I leave, as long as it's currently accessible. So I'm gonna climb to the top of this area right here, see if I can locate the shrine, and should I be able to locate it, I will immediately go to the shrine, solve the puzzle, get the spirit orb, and be on my merry way. So, I have all sorts of areas I can visit. I can go immediately after these guardians, I could take on more shrines, I could go to the Hakeno village that Impa wanted me to visit, or I could do my own thing and just explore the map and see what other villages I can find. But like I said, for now, I'm just gonna do this one shrine. Where is it? Should be somewhere nearby. It's not blinking. No, 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 it's still bl oh, haha, <laughs> I found it. Turns out there's a clear pathway up there, but because I'm me, because I'm Yoshiller, playing as Link in this version of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I will just glide over there. Bada bing, bada boom, this shrine is known as the Talo Neg Shrine, or Talo Naeg. Talo Neg, Talo Neg. Talo, I don't know, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm going to this shrine that's located here inside of the village. I'm gonna go ahead and get me another spirit orb, and then I'll go ahead and call my horse back and we'll ride off into another part of this glorious land that makes up the Hyrule Kingdom. So, let's see what puzzle I have to solve this time. Battle tip! If a monster is hiding behind a shield, you can bat the shield away by hitting it with a heavy sword or axe. Well, I've done that plenty of times already, but it is always nice to have a friendly reminder from this game's notification system. Okay, so, what have we got? Well, it starts off like every other shrine, which seems simple enough. Go down on an elevator. Ooh, this looks like some sort of battle arena. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Talo Naeg. I share with you my knowledge that it may please Hylia. Alright, Talon the Egg's teaching in the Talon the Egg Shrine. Well, you're courteous enough to give me two treasure chests right off the bat. Here we have the Shield of the Mind's Eye, so you're giving me a shield. Is this going to be a shielding tutorial? My inventory is full. Well, I suppose I could use any shield, but because this game is generously giving me a new shield, I'll go ahead and dispose of this one because that one will break after the slightest hit. I'll take this one for the sake of whatever this shrine wants me to do. And it seems there's a, sh there's a treasure chest on the opposite side, so... Let me go ahead and open that up real quickly. Maybe this will give me a special sword or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's another shield. Beats me. Let's see. An eightfold blade, a single-edged traditional sword to the Sheikah tribe. Forged using ancient technology that just might be among the sharpest creations ever made. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't need that anymore. Boom. Alright, so this is clearly a battle arena. I'm being given a sword and a shield. What have we got? Ooh. Oh! One of these things. Ah. Well, it's a, a bit different. I found these mini guardians in each of these different shrines, but let's see. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Okay. So I found these mini guardians inside of different shrines, but none of them had like two layers like this one had or has. Well, it's about to be had because I'm going to destroy you, but okay. I guess this is like a tutorial shrine. So, ooh. So if I dodge at the right time, I have the opportunity to do a flurry rush. Look at that. Look at that. So that means I'm moving at, like, mock speeds when I do that in real time. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Okay. Backflip. So I imagine I just press down instead of left or right. Yeah. So target an enemy or shield and then move back and press the jump button. All right, like that. So I guess I just have to do it when you're actually attacking, though, in order to get through the next part of this tutorial. All right. No. Oh, okay. So I, I have to do the tutorial. And come on now. Hey, yeah. I am a little too early. Ready? Boom! There we go! And flurry rush! Here we go! Rapidly pressing that Y button. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. How do you like that? You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. Okay. Sounds cool. So if I shield and push A, I can parry. Okay. So shielding. Got it. Wait for you to attack. Oh, okay. So I have to do it right when you attack. Duh. It's a parry. Alright, there we go, that's more like it. Oh, I guess that's it. And then, anything else in this tutorial? I imagine so. Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. So, hold down the Y button. Okay, so this I've already done a couple times, but it's nice just to have it reiterated. So, oh, don't want you to hit me now. Thank you for being merciful. There you go, bada bing, bada boom! 
This mini guardian is done. Awesome stuff. Got the victory jingle. What have we got? You have done well to learn these crucial skills. Now, proceed. Well, thank you for the information. Now I know how to backflip, parry, dodge from side to side, and I relearned how to charge my attacks. What have we got? A guardian sword, a sword often wielded by guardian scouts. Its blue energy blade is a product of ancient technology. All right, and the ancient spring, and then this is new, an ancient shaft. A machine part used in ancient machinery. It's incredibly sturdy, and it's not made of any recognizable material. Okay. Well, I'll hang on to those. And then there's yet another treasure chest in here. All right, I'm gonna call it. It's gonna be amber or opal. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, I'll take it. Can always sell it, or maybe there is a more proper use for it later. In which case, I'll use it when the time comes. But for now, I'll go ahead and get my spirit orb. This shrine will be completed. I'll get back on my horse, and I'll be on my way. Thank you. You tr your triumph over the rest of strength subverts a prophecy of ruin. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Well, thank you very much. I like that. My first spirit orb in this attire with this bandana and this chest plate. It's awesome. Boom. I'll take it. Two more to go or two more shrines and then I can boost my stamina gauge again. And then when I get a full second wheel of stamina, I might start increasing my heart points. But we'll see. We'll see how tricky this game gets because I imagine it's going to be very, very difficult. But stamina seems more important to me right now since, I'm climb since I've been climbing and gliding a lot. Anyway, because the shrine is now done, I can warp back to it at any time, so if I ever want an easy way to come back to this village, I can just warp to the shrine and make my way over to Impa or the shops or something. I imagine I'll have to come back later, so it is smart that there is a shrine here. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, wonderful view of the waterfall. Alright, my horse is somewhere down here. Pop-Tart! Where'd you go, girl? Pop-Tart? Oh, you're, you're down there. You're okay. You're okay. Well, I wonder, can I glide and then land? directly onto you let's see kinda all right well that's pretty cool all right shall we make our way to the next village or to the next dot that Impa marked on our maps let's me see in fact what is over here I feel like there is something I guess I can't go too fast if I'm riding a horse in a village it just flat out won't let me go any faster than this which is fine I guess it would be rude of me if I just randomly came into a village and just started trampeding everywhere and knocking stuff over and started making my horse go crazy. So I'll try to take things calmly and I'll slowly but surely make my way around. I guess this is just a viewpoint. If I just want to view the castle, I can. This rock seems a bit suspicious. I don't know. Whatever. Can't do anything with it, can I? Eh, well, even if there is something I can do with it, I'll check it out later. For the time being, it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like there's anything else I can do over here, so I will begin making my way back. Alright, Pop Tart. You ready, girl? Ah, oh, you look so adorable. Alright, so there are a bunch of different points on my map that I can go to. I can take out the guardians, I can go to this village, and I think the village just makes the most logical sense to go to because it's the closest. And Impa said that if I were to go there, there was a guy there who could tell me more about these guardians, and I figure having that knowledge is Important if I'm gonna take out these guardians at all, so we'll do that. And of course, if there are shrines along the way, then I'll take on these shrines. Hello, I'll worry about you later. All right, how could this happen? Oh, that guy has a side quest. He has an exclamation point. I'm gonna have to do it eventually. This is a 100% walkthrough. Oh, I'm probably gonna regret this. All right, come on, Pop Tart. Let's go see what this guy wants. If it's just a fetch mission, if I just have to get him an item, I'll do it. But let's see. I'm gonna have to do it eventually. Sir, Sir Link! My cuckoos. My precious cuckoos! They haven't come home yet! Oh, that was a weird scream he, scream he had. Now that my wife wants nothing to do with me, my cuckoos are my only emotional support! What do I do? Ah! Okay, I'll go find them. Really? Th thank you so much! I have ten cuckoos total. Hopefully you'll be able to find them all. Ah, oh, great. It's a scavenger hunt. All right, find the flound the coop. Well, I know there was definitely a cuckoo around here because I saw it in the previous part. So come on, don't anger the cuckoos. Whatever you do, do not attack them. Just pick them up, put them back in the bin. Now, do I have to find ten, or do you just have ten total? Because it seems like there are three that are already in here. But let's assume that I have to find ten. So I found one, nine to go. Let me just look around the village and see what I can find. Of course, if this takes too long, I can always just cut ahead and 
jump to the point where I actually do find these cuckoos, but I do want to explore a little bit. Here we go. There's one inside here. I'll take this. Come here, Coco. Thank you. Yeah, I had to do this eventually. May as well do it while I'm still here. We'll see if this guy gives me anything afterward, because it is a side quest. I shouldn't feel bad for doing random side quests. You're an artist. I do want to talk to you at some point, but maybe not today. All right, got your next one. Two down, eight to go, presumably. All right, let's go. They could be anywhere. They could be anywhere! Don't think I don't see you over here, cuckoo. All right, got you. Got to just progressively make my way back over to this cage. Good. We should be good. All right, here we go. Here's the next cuckoo, sir. Here's three. Seven to go, I think. All right. I had a feeling there'd be one along the outskirts of town. I'll take you. Now, in theory, I should be able to fly with you. That's how cuckoos work in the previous games. So let's see if I can slowly glide down. There we go. Yeah! Of course, I have a paraglider, so holding on to this cuckoo isn't the best way to traverse through the air, but I'll take it. All right, next cuckoo. I would bet good money that there's going to be a cuckoo on the roof of one of these things. And I'm not talking about this roof, although there is a cuckoo here. I mean, like, the roofs of these houses, I can get to the top of them. So it just totally seems like a game designer developer thing to do for there to be a cuckoo on one of these roofs. I don't know. Considering how many cuckoos I have to find, there's bound to be one. I don't know if these cuckoos move around or if they're always in stationary spots, but so far, I seem to be doing okay. This hasn't been taking too long, so... If I keep up this pace, I should be done in no time. Alright. Well, the guy is gone, but hey! Got your cuckoo! <sighs> Alright, let's keep going. Must find cuckoos. Must find chicken. Chicken, Zaddy! Oh, what the heck is this? A farming hoe? A farming tool primarily used for tilting fields. Its fine craftsmanship is sturdy enough to withstand breaking field work, but its battle ap applications are untested. So there are farming mechanics in this game. Alright, well, I don't really want to farm right now. I just want to find these cuckoos. What are these? A sneaky river snail. This large glow-in-the-dark snail lives in fresh water. When cooked into a dish, it heightens your senses so you can move stealthily. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Cool. I mean, these are all nice. But where are the cuckoos? Where are the chickens? Ah, well, I found one. Here we are. I'll take you. Thank you. All right. Now, I pretty much have to go all the way back through town with this freaking chicken in my hands. Now, I do want to make sure, like, if there are chickens along the way, I would like to mark them accordingly. I'll take that apple. I would like to look, be on the lookout for cuckoos along the way while I get this cuckoo back to its spot. That way, if I spot one, I can just immediately run back here and grab it and put it back into its pen. Why are there so many sparkly things? What is this? Another iron shroom. Man, this village is plentiful with nutrients. I mean, I guess that's the idea. It's a village. It's bound to have food in it so people can live in it. There we go. Next cuckoo. All right. How many more do I need? Oh, no, I stopped counting. All right, well, I'll just keep looking. Must find cuckoo. Just want cuckoo. Oh, I don't really want to do this. All right. Ah, oh, it's rare to see a young lad like you in a village like this. Oh, oh no. You aren't part of the Yiga clan, are you? All right, I'll read your text more seriously. Ha! Huh, I'm just pulling your leg. You look so serious, I couldn't help but be- I couldn't help but goad you a bit. We call those who swear allegiance to the Calamity Ganon the Yiga clan. They... Well, let's just say they don't take kindly to those who would stand against Ganon. It seems they're active again, ever since that big earthquake the other day. But don't worry, I don't think you're part of that awful Yiga clan. I can figure that much just by looking at you. Please, don't hold it against me. Here, take this in exchange. A fortified pumpkin? Let's see, it can considerably up my defense. Fortified pumpkins are the Kariko Village's specialty. I put my heart and soul into every one of them. They're delicious. If you want more, I can give you some. Just stop by the field and say hello. I see. Well, that's nice. I guess if I ever want a pumpkin, I can just come back and come... I KNEW THERE WAS A cuckoo ON THE ROOF! I FREAKING KNEW IT! Alright, come on now. Yeah. Knew there was gonna be a cuckoo on the roof. I'm sorry, about those pumpkins. I guess at any time I can go back and talk to that guy and get another pumpkin. But for now, I'm gonna pass. I think I got all the cuckoos. I don't recall getting ten, but maybe he was count- maybe of the ten, he was counting the three that were already in there. Recently, the Yuga clan has been acting suspiciously, but more importantly, Link, I can hear the sound of my cuckoo flapping its little wings. Could it be? Yep, I found him! I- I knew it! That faint yet lovely flapping of wings 
That musical clucking, ah, truly the epitome of joy. I'm so eager to get back home. Oh, Link, I'm so happy everyone is safe. Thank you so much. I'm afraid this isn't much, but please take it with my thanks. 50 rupees. All right, well, a nice reward nonetheless. I'll spend them on something eventually. But I have to do all the side quests in this game regardless because this is a 100% walkthrough. I had to do it eventually. There you go, fly on the coop. Now I don't have to worry about that side quest ever again. Now, uh, where's my horse? What is this? Oh, you know what? Here. Let me try cooking something real quickly. Now that I have a bunch of stuff with me. Yeah, let's see what we've got. So I've got some, got some apples. I've got this pumpkin. I don't really want to... Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll put that in there. Alright, let's see what I can make. I'm putting it into a pot, so I'm cooking it all together. I'm not just throwing it into the fire to toast it. Boom. We have steamed fish! A refined dish made by wrapping a fresh fish in fragrant wild greens and cooking it. Well, I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright. Now, where is Pop-Tart? Pop-Tart. I know you're around here, girl. I know you can hear me. There you are! Glad to see that you're safe and sound. Alright, what do you say we start making our way over to that next village, huh? Thank you for your patience, Pop-Tart. Thank you for putting up with my ridiculousness. Alright, this is a nice, fun little village. I got some rupees. I cooked some food. I talked to Impa. I learned new objectives because of Impa. I took on a shrine. I'm good. I'm good. I don't really want to talk to anyone else right now. Alright, once I get through these gates, I think I can just... Move onward and rush forward. So, let's get to it then. Alright. Come now, Pop-Tart. You have been very useful and very willing to stand still. Ooh. If that goat even thinks about attacking me, I will attack it right back. Alright. Back off. Leave Pop-Tart alone. Thank you. Now, I don't think there's another shrine around here. So, I'll just go ahead and... Yah, my horse! Oh, hang on though. Sorry about this, Pop-Tart. This, this seems suspicious, and the game encourages me to look at suspicious things, because I can get Korok seeds and find shrines and all that. So, I imagine if I place this block into this one, it'll work. Though, I think I have to use Magnesis for it. So, let's get Magnesis out. Let's lift this up. All right, Korok seed, please. I'll take one so I can increase my inventory. Ah! Ah! Oh, that hurt. All right, let's try that again. Let's do it gently this time. There we go. Good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. If something looks suspicious, look at it. Boom. Yeah. Ha ha, you bad me. Korok seed, thank you. And thankfully that guy that takes the Korok seeds is right down this hill, so let's go and give him a quick visit. All right, Pop-Tart. Sorry, we keep going and stopping, going and stopping. We'll have a, cons we'll have a consistent ride soon, I'm sure. Okay, now, let's see. Let's go over to that guy down here. We'll stop by him. We'll see if he'll increase my inventory again because the more inventory I have, the better. So, let's see. Or the more space I have in my inventory, the better. All right. Get ready to stop, Pop-Tart. And after this, I don't see much of a reason for us to have to stop again. So, let's go. Shalaka! Shalakala! You want to expand your inventory? I need those Korok seeds. Yes, please. Okay, I need just two. Ah, uh, two. All right. I guess it increases exponentially as time goes along, which makes sense. There are said to be 900 Korok seeds in this game. I don't know if that's true or not, but if that is true, that is fair for me not to just have like 900 spaces and everything. It increases exponentially. Got it. Now, granted, maybe it only took one Korok seed to increase my shield inventory or to increase my arrow inventory. But I think after I increase the space once, it'll take two Korok seeds. And then after I increase it from there, it'll take three Korok seeds. And so on and so forth. So, alright. Ready, Pop-Tart? Let's go back across this bridge. Let's make our way to the next village. Over to that yellow dot in the bottom left corner. I think that's the place I need to go to. I kept hearing about this Hakano village, so let's make our way to there. Okay. I had a little detour. I'll just cut that out. Nothing really happened. Okay, let's make our way to the village like I said I would. It seems like this is the route to the village. I think that's what that yellow dot is. There are like five different yellow dots on the map right now, but I think that's the one I want to go to. Whoa! All right, we're stopping again. Oh, my blade's badly damaged now? Great. All right, boom. All right, well, at least the blade's been used up now. I've got some choo-choo jelly, and I'll... I don't really want to use the guardian sword. All right, how about the boomerang? 
do I whack people with this, or does it immediately get thrown if I try to use it? I guess we'll find out. Alright, onward, Pop-Tart! To the next village! Onward, to more adventure! Yeah! There we go, thank you, Pop-Tart. Uh, I don't really want to fight the guy, but let's just do it. Like, at the very least, I can get your weapon. Thank you, and I'll take whatever stuff you drop as well. Alright, do do do, -do. Good. Alright, I'm not going to stop to fight every enemy, I want to point that out right now. If there are a bunch of enemies, it might be smarter and quicker to flee from the enemies than to actually fight them. So, we'll see. Although, I am hopping off again because there's some sparkly stuff over here. Or, oh, that's just a Stamella stream. Well, I'll take it. Nothing else? Darn it. I'm so sorry, Pop-Tart, that we have to keep stopping. I'll try to, pre I'll try to prevent myself from doing that. Okay, we've been stopping quite a lot, but we have a village to get to. Where are you going, Pop-Tart? Alright, let me take control for a second. We need to go along this path. It was designed here for a reason. Oh, this does not seem safe at all. What's with all these guardians? They're not all going to come to life and attack me, are they? I'm getting a little worried. Well, if I can get behind the gate, we should be okay. Nothing bad's going to happen if I go behind this gate, right? We'll be okay. Fort Tateno. Well, I guess I'm getting close. Oh, hang on, there's a dude here. You trust me, right? Check out this angle. Alright, Pop-Tart doesn't really want to get near you, so I'll get near you. How's it going, dude? Yeah. Hiya, my name's Gorill. Come to see Fort Tateno, I take it? Figured as much. It's well worth seeing. Fort Tateno here was the last line of defense between Hateno Village and the awful tragedy all those years ago. Everyone's got to come and pay their respects at least once in life, right? Ah, oh, okay, so this is a good village. They were just trying to defend themselves from the Guardians. Well, as long as those things don't come back and start trimpeding around the village, I'll be okay. Alright, now I'm not going to stop by this guy. I'm not going to stop by his donkey. I'm just going to... I'm just going to make my way to the village. I'll get to the village, and then I'll end the part. It seems like some other battles can go on over here. Can I whack you while I'm on the horse? Yeah, I, I can, actually. And I guess I just whack people with the boomerang. Alright, now can I pick this up while I'm on the horse? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. Let me get off one more time, Pop-Tart. I'm so sorry. Let me grab this meat. We'll cook that later. Alright. You didn't expect me just to live off of fruits and vegetables, did you? <laughs> no, I'm a... I need meat in my diet. I'm sorry. I feel bad killing animals in this game, and it's just the way of life, I guess. I'm certainly not a vegetarian. Nothing against those that are, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm not one. Alright. Anyway, I guess it seems like in order to get to this village, I have to go up this hill. And while I could climb these things on my own, I, I really want Pop-Tart to go with me. So we'll go along the path. Oh, there it is! Right there in the distance, and I even see a shrine! That's a good sign. It's a very good sign. Alright. Let's keep going, Pop-Tart. We'll be good. Uh, see? So there's an enemy there? I'm just gonna keep moving. We're gonna avoid some of the enemies right now. I guess this would be a lot trickier if I was on foot, because they would actually be able to track me down and chase me down. But since I got a horse... I'm going to use, well, I'm sorry about that, Pop-Tart. I'm going to use Pop-Tart's boosted speed and stamina to my advantage. So you okay? Did I yaw you when you didn't have stamina left? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. You're a good horse. You're a good horse, okay? I'm really thankful you've decided to accompany me on my adventure. All right, let's go. Oh, dude! Are you serious? Leave my horse alone. All right, I guess I'm going this way. This is a split path. Uh, actually, this does not seem like the correct path, because the way I wanted to go was at the top of the hill, and this path seems to be taking me around it, so... Pop-Tart, I think you had it correct before. Let's go this way. Alright, come on, there you go. Hit that, hit that swan. Yeah, th this seems more correct. So the top of the hill should be the village, and then I should be in a safe location where I can properly conclude this video. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Alright, trying nearby. Yep, I gotta be getting close. Gotta imagine. Let's see. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm letting Pop-Tart do this. I'm not controlling her. We good? Are we good? Should be. Keep going. There we are. Yep, here's the village. Alright, hopefully they'll allow me to come in. I promise I'm not here to hurt you guys. Atena Village. Awesome, I made it. In one part, in contrast to the five parts it took me to get to the previous village. Who are you? Be on your way, you suspicious man! Hmm. You certainly do appear to be a Hylian, like the rest of us. Hylians are generally good folks, so... Sorry for getting all worked up. You're free to go. 
We're just a waypoint on your winding road, huh? Ah, the life of a traveler. Well, you can get most things you need at the general store, and the inn is just back there. Alright, well, thank you. I'm not going to do any shopping in this part, but maybe I'll do that in the next part. I'll give this village a quick tour, I'll take on that shrine, and then we should be good to go. So, alright. I'm just going to run this way, since Pop-Tart can't trampede through these villages. Though, if I run ahead and whistle to her, she'll come rushing over, so let's try that. Pop-Tart, do you want to come to Linky Boy? So, there you go. Pop-Tart's a good horse. Alright guys, that about wraps up this part of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all next time in the next part when I take on this shrine right here, and when I explore this village some more, learn about guardians, and learn more about the plot and lore of this game, and all that good stuff. Let me pet this horse real quickly. Alright, we should be good. Bye bye humans! Whoosh! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video! I post videos every day, so if you want to be notified for when my next video goes out, please be sure to subscribe by clicking on my icon right there in the center. And please be sure to follow me on Twitter. My tag is at RealYoShiller. Thanks a bunch. See you all in future videos. Bye-bye, humans. Whoosh.